And finally, this Halloween night, we have Doug Blair, our producer and special correspondent on set. And we, we said no Halloween costumes. Why would you dress up in this goofy <sighs> costume when I'm not dressed up? Now we look weird. I know. No. Well, that's, that's actually your clothes, isn't it? This yeah. isn't a costume. I was actually going to go for the professional look, but then I figured I'd dress like a hobo, and it, you know, it, yeah, it didn't quite pan out. a little awkward. Anyway, you have a spooky story for us. I go do have it. a spooky story for us. So, right. again, we are in the spookiest of seasons, as you mentioned. It is Halloween night, so happy trick-or-treating to all our young viewers out there. They should be asleep by They now. should be asleep go by now. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to talk about something that I, it piqued my interest okay. on NBC News. So I'd like to show you a picture to start out with. All so right. let's cut to this picture. And Larry, what ah. do you say? Well, I mean... I know it's Halloween, so I mean, right. I guess that these are, you know, well, they're dressed like witches. Mm. But, but I would also, I mean, I'm looking at purple hair. I'm looking at uh, a certain, I don't know. A body type, maybe. Ang a body type in, a, in an angry, middle class, white woman of a certain age. I mean, they could have just stepped off the National Mall during that, you know, angry women's march right, that we right. have every year. They look like they're, you know, protesting for their abortion rights and all that stuff. Well, they could be outside Justice Kavanaugh's home right, right now. I actually think they I could be lining one. up to vote for Nancy Pelosi for all we know. <laughs> I do they could be. All right, I'll stop there. I do think I've seen all of those people in all of those Same places. Same people. I, we know you. We've, we've seen you. I got your number. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but they are not just angry feminist voters. They are also self-proclaimed witches. Yeah, this is a thing, isn't it? Yes, There's like it this is. convergence of like the hashtag me too, and it's turning into hashtag me witchy poo. I was going to say hashtag me boo, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It's like the, their their anger at the patriarchy right. and their pushback against American conservatives is manifesting in them dabbling exactly. in the dark arts of witchcraft and paganism. Exactly. And so actually this photo comes from a headline from NBC that is talking about the rise in that very phenomenon, yeah. the rise in witchcraft and paganism. See, and I'm looking at that headline doesn't um, evoke like a critical eye. In mm. fact, it almost sounds like it's like, hey, here's a cool thing. Let's explain what's going on instead of this is right. bad. It feels more like a sort of, hey, look at these quirky witches and yeah. quirky pagans out there. I remember very distinctly this idea back in the early 2000s of like this neo-pagan like love the planet bro mm. but it's not that anymore and we actually have a little bit of evidence for this so let's play this clip and it seems that a growing number of young women and some men are being drawn to a brand of witchcraft and it's political I use the term witch to describe myself I usually cite the acronym woman in total control of herself I am the owner of house witch home and healing in Salem, Massachusetts. I practice witchcraft. I pull tarot cards. I have crystals everywhere. I make shrines. I cast spells. I meditate. But it's sort of a political distinction, and I think it like speaks to my radical feminism. And that kind of speaks to it. <laughs> Okay. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, aren't there just like weird people out there who sort of dabble in this sort of thing, but it doesn't become a trend. It doesn't become a political movement, right? What's different now? Ah, well, so that's the thing. We have another set of evidence that this is no longer just about religion. Because, Larry, we've had this conversation on the show before, mm -hmm. that if there's no faith, that there's no Judeo-Christian faith that has God at the center of your life, you will replace that with something else. Because the human right. spirit and the human heart, they, they, right. in, they, they need it. it we want to believe in right. something, and we want to believe in the transcendent. We know that there is a spiritual realm, and mm -hmm. we want to connect with it. Uh, if you adhere to the Judeo-Christian uh, point of view and biblical uh, understanding of that realm, you're going to want to connect with the, the, the light side, the bright exactly. side, God side. Right. They're connecting with the dark They're side. They're connecting with the dark side, but they are connecting with something. So mm -hmm. this is Reddit witches versus patriarchy. Oh, there you go. This is a very, very popular internet forum about how witches and witchcraft oh. and paganism can be used to fight against what they call the patriarchy. So stick it to Harvey Weinstein and Donald Trump by becoming a witch and chanting and conjuring demons. Exactly, right? Uh. And so that's basically where this ends up. This is no longer about the, the oh, we're going to be the spiritual, like, touch grass and it's yeah. going to be great. It's 
this is a political movement. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty pathetic. That's a problem. Uh, Mom and Dad, be on the lookout for it and don't let your kids dabble in it because here at the Salem News Channel, the subject of witches is always a burning one. Oh! Nailed it! <laughs> that's it for us tonight. We'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. And in the meantime, I will see you on the radio. Happy Halloween! Boo!